Okay, good morning, everyone. Welcome. Welcome to Tushida. We're here in the main gompa here to celebrate Labab Duchen. Um, so this is a celebration of the Buddha's descent from the heavens of the 33 is what it's called. So La means deity and Bob means descent and Duchen is great festival. So this is the beginning of our great festival. And just a little background, the reason why the Buddha went to this heaven of the 33 in the first place is because that's where his mother was. He went to teach her, to offer her the Dharma. So this is a little bit also like a Mother's Day kind of celebration. So we can generate gratitude for our mothers as well as generating lots of good um, meritorious karma for ourselves. So what we're going to do this morning is we're going to be um, doing the light offering. So we're going to light lots of butter lamps and offer them. Just think about generosity, think about giving. Um, and this, this becomes very, um, creates the causes for us to have light in our lives, the light of the wisdom, the light of the Dharma in our lives. So this is the purpose of our celebration. Uh, the other aspect of these holy days, we have four Buddhist holidays that happen, main ones through Tibetan Buddhism. And um, on these days, our, our accumulation of virtue is very big. It's, it's like multiplied because of the holiness of the day, because of the symbol of the day, that the day is so um, precious for one, you know, what the Buddha did. Okay, so let's uh, stop for a moment and count our breaths for a little while to just settle in and then we'll set a motivation and then we will light the candles. So we can take a moment to appreciate this amazing human life that we have with all of its freedoms and opportunities. The fact that we've been born human, that the Buddha came to this earth at all and taught, and then that the teachings are still here. And there are beings who have realized the teachings. So the Dharma is embodied still in the world. People like Lama Zopa Rinpoche and His Holiness the Dalai Lama. This is such a fortunate time to be born. And so we want to make this opportunity meaningful, not waste it. And so how do we create meaning the purpose of our life becomes about removing our own suffering as well as the suffering of others. To actually use this opportunity to develop ourselves, to be able to lead all beings to be free from their suffering and lead them to liberation. 
and enlightenment, full enlightenment. But in order to do this, in order to be the best person we can be to lead all beings, is that we have to complete the two accumulations, the accumulation of merit and wisdom. And so today we're going to make these light offerings as part of this accumulation. So while we're making the offerings, lighting the candles, you can be saying Om Ah Hum, which is the mantra of the holy body, holy speech, and holy mind of a Buddha. So we're blessing the candles as we offer them so that, that they are pure and that they can be received by the merit field. So um, my... Uh, Co-workers here are going to get up and light the candles and we'll meditate on uh, blessing them. Om Ahum. So you see uh, Felipe is there and our director, Pema, is right there. And then we have Venerable Paldron, who is also helping. And then the one who is um, holding the camera is Antonin. He's also a volunteer here at Tushita. And then in the very background, we have um, our resident, well, one of our monks who helps assist us with these rituals. So you can also visualize where they're lighting the candles that there are not just 50 or so candles here, but there are billions of gazillions of skies of oceans filled with lights that we are all offering, blessing and offering. Mm -hmm. thinking that by your reciting the mantra that each one of these lights is purified and becomes a source of bliss for the senses, the energy of wisdom and bliss in each lamp, multiplying millions and millions and millions of times.
You can also visualize that you're surrounded by all the sentient beings in human forms and that you're leading them in this offering practice. On the altar, we also have set up for the medicine Buddha Puja. So that's what all those uh, fruits and uh, crackers and so forth are all set up for medicine Buddha. And then you see the picture of medicine Buddha and also the medicine Buddha mandala or house. Inside is the medicine Buddha mandala and on top is the medicine Buddha scripture of the sutra. Mm. Yeah. And if you're wondering, this is an actual butter. Uh, it's not hum It's not animal products. So you know, for those vegans of you out there, it's a form of solidified vegetable oil that works just as well. We call them butter lamps because they used to be used as butter lamps. So we'll start our offering ceremony and then uh, Lama, our Lama Gupala, who is our um, rituals master, will come in and do the offering in Tibetan after about 15, 20 minutes. And then at the end, after he's done, we'll have the dedications of the names. And uh, these, these are not all the light offerings. So we also have another table, but we can't see it right now. The, karma, the camera doesn't reach that far. But we can imagine, you know, these as being multiplied. Okay, you can put the camera back in. So you can think that you have received these offerings through the kindness of sentient beings. So think that these offerings are not mine. And then that you are actually making charity of the offerings to all the hell beings, pratas, animals, humans, demigods, and gods. So that you don't feel possessive of the offerings, you let them go. You're making the offerings on behalf of all these beings.
And then you can think that each and every sentient being receives whatever they need as represented by these offerings, both their temporary and their ultimate happiness. I actually make and mentally transform the offerings of humans and devas. May Sabhatabhadra's clouds of offerings pervade the whole sky. And then we'll say this mantra to further offer and bless the offerings. Om Namo Bhagavate Vajrasara Brahma. Pramardane Tata Gataya Arhate Samyak Sam Udaya Tayata Om Benze Benze Maha Benze Maha Teja Benze Maha Vidya Benze Maha Bodhi Chita Benze Maha Bodhi Mando Pasam Karmana Benze Sarva Karma Avarana Vishodana Benze Soha Om Namo Bhagavate Benze Sara Pramardane Tata Gataya Arhate Samyak Sam Buddhaya Tayata Om Benze Benze Maha Benze Maha Teja Benze Maha Vidya Benze Maha Bodhi Chita Benze Maha Bodhi Mando Pasam Karmana Benze Sarva Karma Avarana Vishodana Benze Soha Om Namo Bhagavate Benze Sara Pramardane Tata Gataya Arhate Samyak Sam Buddhaya Tayata Om Benze Benze Maha Benze Maha Teja Benze Maha Vidya Benze Maha Bodhi Chita Benze Maha Bodhi Mando Pasam Karmana Benze Sarva Karma Avaran Vishodana Benze Soha by the power of the truth of the three rare sublime ones, the blessings of the, all the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas, the great wealth of the completed two collections and the sphere of phenomena being pure and inconceivable. May these piles of clouds of offerings arising through transformation by the Bodhisattvas, Aryas and Matabhadra, Manjushri and so forth, unimaginable and inexhaustible, equaling the sky, arise and in the eyes of the Buddhas and the Bodhisattvas, of the 10 directions be received. Okay, so we're gonna, as we visualize, we'll, you know, we're making offerings to all these things. Also think about the fact that they are being received and that the, it is creating bliss, creating happiness, okay? And when you offer something, you also are creating the, the karma for it to come back to you. So this is the experience we want in order to be of greatest benefit to others. First, we make offerings to all the holy objects here in this place. Every single tanka, statue, stupa, scripture, picture, tzatza, relic, prayer wheel. By seeing them as inseparable from our own virtuous friend, our supreme guru, our lama, who is one with all other virtuous friends. So you prostrate, offer, and generate bliss. Then we make all these offerings, both real and visualized, to every single holy object in this country. All the statues, stupas, scriptures, pictures, all the centers, altars, every single altar in people's homes, the prayer wheels, satsas, and any virtuous friend in this country, by seeing them as inseparable from one's own virtuous friend. We present these offerings many times and in this way generate great bliss in all the holy minds. So we prostrate, offer, and generate bliss. Then we make all these offerings both real and visualized to every single holy object in India, including the Bodhgaya Stupa where a thousand Buddhas descended. Also, we make offerings to all the holy beings in India, including His Holiness the Dalai Lama and other virtuous friends that you have here. By seeing them as inseparable from your own virtuous friend, we make the offerings many times and in this way generate great bliss in all the holy minds. So we prostrate, offer, and generate great bliss. Now we make the, all these offerings both real and visualized to every single holy object in the rest of the world, 
by seeing all the holy objects as inseparable from your own special teacher. We make the offerings many times and in this way generate great bliss in all the holy minds. Prostrate, offer, and generate great bliss. This includes Nepal, where Lama Zopa Rinpoche is. Many holy beings in Nepal as well. All over the world, helping sentient beings, we offer to all, all these precious gurus. We make all these offer, offerings, both real and visualized, to all the ten direction Buddha, Dharma, and Sangha, by seeing all of them as inseparable from our own virtuous friend. We make the offerings many times and in this way generate great bliss in all the holy minds. Prostrate, offer, and generate great bliss. We make all these offerings both real and visualized to all the ten directions, statues, stupas, and scripture by seeing them as inseparable from our own virtuous friends. Make the offerings many times and in this way generate great bliss in all the holy minds. Prostrate, offer, and generate great bliss. We make all these offerings both real and visualized to Buddha Chenrezig by seeing Chenrezig as inseparable from His Holiness the Dalai Lama and one's own virtuous friend. Make the offerings many times and in this way generate great bliss in all the holy minds. Prostrate, offer, and great bliss. So now we're going to do Atisha's um, light offering prayer. So may the light of the lamp be equal to the great 3,000 worlds and their environments. May the wick of the lamp be equal to the king of mountains, Mount Maru. May the butter be equal to the infinite ocean. May there be billions of trillions of lamps in the presence of each and every Buddha. May the light illuminate the darkness of ignorance of all sentient beings. From the peak of samsara down to the most torturous hell, whereby they can see directly and clearly all the ten directions, Buddhas and Bodhisattvas, in their pure lands. Om Vajra Aloke Ahum. Ema Ho. I offer these beautifully exalted, clear and luminous lights to the thousand Buddhas of the fortunate eon, to all the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas of the infinite pure lands and of the ten directions, to all the gurus, meditational deities, dakas, dakinis, dharma protectors, and the assembly of deities of all mandalas. Due to this, may my father, mother, and all sentient beings in this life and in their future lives be able to see directly the actual pure lands of the complete and perfect Buddhas. May they unify with Buddha Amitabha in inseparable oneness. Please bless me and may my prayers be actualized as soon as possible. Due to the power of the truth of the triple gem and the assembly of deities in the three roots, Tayata Om Panchagriya Avabodhani Soha, Tayata Om Panchagriya Avabodhani Soha, Panchagriya Avabodhani Soha, Om Tayata Om Panchagriya Avabodhani Soha, Tayata Om Panchagriya Avabodhani Soha, Tayata Om Panchagriya Avabodhani Soha, Tayata Om Panchagriya Avabodhani Soha. So now you visualize the light transforms into single brilliant five color wisdom. On a lotus and moon disc, the syllables Om and D appear. From them, 108 beautiful goddesses of light, Marmema, appear, wearing beautiful garments and precious garlands. Every goddess holds light in her hands, and from them emanate billions of trillions of infinite replicas of light offering goddesses. All of them make light offerings uninterruptedly to all the Buddhas in the Buddha fields throughout all of space and to the peaceful and wrathful deities. So see all the universes filled with all these goddesses making offerings to all the infinite Buddhas on behalf of all sentient beings.
and then we dedicate. Thus, due to the merits of having made such a light offering, may all the benefactors, the deceased and migrating beings of the six realms benefit. May all their degenerated samaya and broken vows be restored. May all their superstitious obscurations be purified. May all their bad karma, negativities, and obscurations be purified. May the three realms of samsara become empty immediately. Please grant control, power, and realization. Due to the merits of these virtuous actions, may I quickly attain the state of a guru Buddha and lead all living beings without exception into that enlightened state. May the supreme jewel bodhicitta that is not arisen arise and grow. And may that which has arisen not diminish, but increase more and more. Due to these infinite merits, may whatever suffering sentient beings have ripen on me right now. May whatever happiness and virtue I have accumulated, including all the realizations of the path and the highest goal, enlightenment, be received by each hell being, preta, animal, human, asura, and sura right now. Having dedicated in this way, you have accumulated infinite merit, so rejoice. May the precious sublime thought of enlightenment, the source of all success and happiness for myself and all other sentient beings be generated without even a second's delay. May that which has been generated increase more and more without degeneration. Due to all the merits of the three times collected by me, Buddhas, Bodhisattvas and all other sentient beings, which are empty from their own side, May the eye, which is empty from its own side, achieve enlightenment, which is empty from its own side, and lead all sentient beings who are empty from their own side to that enlightenment by myself alone. Whatever white virtues I have thus created, I dedicate as causes, enabling me to uphold the holy dharma of scriptures and insights, and to fulfill without exception all the prayers and deeds of all the Buddhas and bodhisattvas of the three times. By the force of this merit in all my lives, may I never be parted from Mahayana's four spheres, and may I reach the end of my journey along the paths of renunciation, bodhicitta, the pure view, and the two stages. Okay, so we'll have Lama Gupa do his part in Tibetan. Tai 
Tamanya <laughs> 
Good morning. I uh, wish you all very uh, happy Labob Tuchin. Thank you so much for joining us. And uh, thank you, Venerable Doma and uh, Lomi Gibala for the prayers. That was wonderful. So I want to read out the names who offered butter lamb. And we have some also kind sponsors uh, from Singapore and all around the world. So I want to read out the dedications and the lace who sponsors who sponsored butter lamps and also made some generous donations for Tushida. So uh, first I want to read out the names um, from our generous and kind supporters from Singapore. So we have um, On King Ling, uh, she offered one butter lamb. Then O Wee Ling, one, but, uh, one big butter lamb. 
O Carling, one pick but a lamb donate and uh, some donation for renovations of our gomba floor. And then, then we have Lim Ciceline, one big butter lamb. Lim uh, Charmin, one big butter lamb. Lim Sharon, one big butter lamb. Uh, Yip Hon Yu, one big butter lamb and donation for uh, renovation of gomba floor. And then Clinton Ong Peng um, Kip, one big butter lamb. Dina Lim Yang, one big butter lamb. John Lin Hui and family, uh, one big butter lamb. C A Wa, one small butter lamb. Angel um, Angel Ong, uh, the doggy, one small butter lamb offered to that. And then we have Ong the doggy, one small butter lamb. And then we have uh, Clinton Ong Pang, uh, donation for Gomba floor, renovation of Gomba floor. Uh, Diana Lim Yang, donation for Gomba renovation of Gomba floor. John Lin Hui and family, also donation for Gomba floor. Uh, Clinton also, uh, she offered um, some donations for uh, three, we have a project of um, building one three dimensional Heruka Mandala. So she made donation for that. Thank you so much. And then we have Diana Lim Yang, also donation for three dimensional Heruka Mandala. And then we have Lim Chung Nam and family. Uh, they offered one big butter lamb for the, for the good health and harmony. And then we have uh, one big butter lamb offered by belated uh, two belated brother Lim Sung Yung. May you have a good rebirth. Then we have uh, one small butter lamb uh, and hundred dollars, uh, hundred Singapore dollars offered for Gomba renovation. Um, and then, uh, yeah, that was offered by New Lee. And then Mr. Lee Chi Fuchs family, one large butter lamb. Miss Leah Chi Chang, one large butter lamb, wish for good health, happiness, and prosperity. Prosperity. In addition, I would like to make donation for renovation of main gomba. Thank you. And then we have Sean Foley, one big butter lamb for Margaret Foley, Eileen and Karen, Karen and Mr. Mo. May they have achieved, uh, may, the, uh, may they may achieve higher rebirths and ultimate lib liberations from suffering. May all beings be liberated from, su from suffering. And then we have Chia Vincent uh, offered five butter lamps dedicated to Li Chung Ying, Chia Yu Feng, Chia Yu An, uh, Ngo Fu Yong, and uh, Chia Poon King. And then we have Kerry um, offered two butter, big butter lamps and donation for Gomba renovation. And then we have Miss Grace Bay. Uh, she offered 14 large butter lamps and donation for renovation of Gomba floor. Uh, those are dedicated to Mr. Tan Wa Bay, uh, late father, Mr. Su, Su Sim Bay. Uh, uh, so Yi, Thailand uh, Corporate Limited, uh, Mr. Nelson Gwen Hot Wee, Miss Grace Suk Wee Bay, and then Madam Suk Mei Tan. And then we have Antonin Harpata for big butter lamps. And then uh, Dollars uh, Gardeners, two big butter lamps. Then Andre, one small butter lamps. Alison Rich, one large uh, Butter lamp for an auspicious rebirth of Idris Coleman Rich, who was still born on the 21st of September 2020, and for his mom and dad, Adam and Laura, that they may recover from his loss. And then we have uh, uh, Guillermo, sorry, uh, Guillermo Paolo Zimbolini, one small butter lamp. Then uh, Todd Leyland offering offering the butter lamp for Sofia Oriana Lopez Leyland. And then we have Felipe Zapala, one big butter lamp for good rebirth of uh, Kiamor Man Matina. 
Uh, then we have Yu Tong Hung, Chris. Our dedication uh, is that may all sentient beings be happy. May all be blessed by the triple gem. May my beloved father, Mr. Yong N. Kim, deceased, who passed away in the late February 2020, be swiftly, swiftly reborn in pure land under the guidance of Amitabha Buddha. Then we have Wong Chi Cheng, one big butter lamps for all sentient beings, and her dedication is May these uh, meritorious virtues adorn the Buddha's pure land, repay the four weighty sources of uh, kindness above, and relieve sufferings of the three parts below. If there are those who hear or see this, may all give rise to bodhi mind. And at the end of this, uh, one retribution body be born in the land of ultimate bliss. May all the projects of Tushida be fulfilled. Then we have uh, Audrey Tan. Uh, she offered 10 big butter lamps uh, for the following names. Uh, Frida Yo, Tilta Yo, Li Hong Quang, Li Hong Zen, Li Mu Zen, Patrick Paul, Thomas Yo, James Lee. And uh, her dedication is all, may all obstacles be purified and may, be, may we be blessed to have good health mentally and physically. And the uh, tenth butter lamp is offered uh, to all sentient beings. May all sentient beings' uh, negative karma be purified. Then um, next uh, uh, names that I'm going to read are those who were very generous to who supported who sponsored uh, um, uh, our fundraiser courses. So thank you all so much for that. So. First, we have A.C. Barrow, Adia S. Dabuwa, uh, Anirao, Andreas, Andrew, Andrew Zim Zimbani, Angelica, Anish, Anshula, Antonin, uh, Ashish, Astages, um, um, B.T., Benjamin, Pumika, Bina, um, Branisla, Branisla, Branisla. Sorry, I'm, I'm sorry if I uh, pronounce your name wrong. Uh, Carmen um, Hernandez, Carolina, Carolini, Chandrika, Connor, David, Divya, uh, Drew, uh, Anthony White, Edgar, Fernando, uh, another Edru, Ed, Ramos, um, Elif, uh, uh, Emilio, Evelyn, Gaurav, Graciela, Hopkins, uh, Isabel, Isdora, um, then we have uh, Jacinta, John, Jonathan, Karen, Koshi, Leeds, uh, Leos, uh, uh, MM, Procus, Madhav Nair, Mala Chant, Maria, uh, Marco, Maya, Michael, Nicole, Nithya, Paula, Peter, uh, Pradeep, Prasad, Preeti, uh, Rodrigo, Russell, Sachin, Shubo, Shweta, uh, Simon, Sophie, Stephanie, Stephen, uh, Sunita, <coughs> Todd, uh, Tom, Tilo, Trishta, Tusha Roy, Tyson, um, Zippy, Victor, uh, then uh, what's this? <clears throat> uh, well, how do I pronounce this? Volodymyr. Volodymyr, uh, Walter Drexler, Warren Young, Wendy Gill, and then we have. Um, yeah, that, those are all uh, generous sponsors. Thank you so much. And we have offered um, butter lamps on all of your name. Thank you. And then we have uh, Dara Long. She, <clears throat> she offered two big butter lamps and one spons one small butter lamps. And then we have Martha. She offered one big butter lamps. Uh, her dedication is, I would like to dedicate a large butter lamp for, uh, to peace, kindness, and understanding between all beings, may all sentient beings be free from ignorance, may our politicians be wiser and guided by compassion in their 
actions and may people think of benefiting each other on daily basis. <clears throat> may we care for each other and the natural world, a world around us. May dharma flourish and our spiritual teachers have long life. May obstacles of families uh, all, uh, all stay, uh, sorry, uh, may, may obstacles of families of all the whiskey and Normington be removed. May all beings be happy and free, free from sufferings. Mm, that's all that I have to read. Thank you all so much for joining us. And we have uh, uh, Medicine Buddha Puja at 11, right? 11 o'clock yes. Indian Standard Time. His Holiness teaching is there at 9. Yes, uh, right after this, His Holiness is teaching. And then we have also teaching by uh, Sekong Sencha Gumbuche. It's all Indian Standard Time. So please join us for the whole day program. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Rejoice. <laughs>